Hey guys, it's Coach Johnny Artiega here. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to share a few activities that you can do at home during this time where you can work on your fitness, your ball control, and just overall game. Okay, we can set up in a small area, have three cones there, one cone here, three cones across, and one there. This is about a 15 by 10, 15 by 15 area. Okay, so from that first yellow cone to this white cone, there are 10 yards. And then from those three yellow uh, cones or green cones, to that other white cone there are 10 yards so this is the setup i'm going to go over a quick warm-up and then we'll go into the fitness side of things and then we'll add the ball we start out with a jog so around the white cone we're doing everything twice once twice Nice shuffle, facing one way, move your arms so you get nice and loose. It's facing the same way to go back. Switch, other way. Karaoke, move your feet. Facing the same way to go here. Jog back. Skip. Hand me up. Take a jog back. Skip. Jog back. Open up the gate. Close it on the way back. Open it on the way there. Close it on the way stretches. So it could be a quad stretch, feel your high knees, 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 drop back, toes up, hamstring stretch, a couple high knees, toes up, hamstring stretch, a couple high knees, toes up, Toes, high knees, toes up, reach your toes, high knees, toes up, reach your toes, high knees. This one, make sure your support foot toes up here. This knee is bent. Touch your toes and back up. Alright? This is the warm-up for before we start going into the fitness side. Okay, now we're gonna go into a little bit of fitness without the ball. 
bend with the ball. Okay, some footwork at the cones. We're gonna do a couple of sharp turns, still keeping our heart rate up and getting some fitness out of this. Hopefully we can do this for one minute straight and then we will take a 30 second rest. So it would look like this. Forward, backwards through the cone. Forward, backwards, once you come up through the middle, it's a sprint to this one, go down. Sprint to this one, go down. Quick change of directions, we end here. Once we're here, set up again. Forward, backward, forward, backward, and out. Quick sharp turn through here. Up to this one, go down. Quick sharp turn, and out here. And we'll set up again. I'm halfway there. Forward, backward, quick feet, out, quick sharp turn, stay low in these turns. Last one, backwards, quick feet, turn, accelerate. It's about 55 seconds. We'll get 30 seconds to rest. 30 seconds to catch your breath. Coach Johnny is really out of shape. So for me, recovery is really difficult right now. But for some of those young players who are really fit, you can recover by juggling the ball. Okay, staying active. Maybe keeping the ball inside, inside. As you're catching your breath. When you're ready to go, after your 30 seconds of rest are up, you go again. We're doing four of these. Four minutes to work, 30 seconds in between each minute. Within the four repetitions you're doing here for fitness, try to alternate your footwork. Try to switch it up. Maybe you'll go over the cones like this. Okay, high knees over the cones, top out here, back out here, and then you can take off. Okay, you can do the forward, backward, but let's do it backwards here. So when I get out, I can turn and sprint over. So be a little creative with your footwork here, okay? We're gonna now incorporate the ball. Same setup, we're now dribbling with speed, okay? So we're trying to get the ball under control as we're turning and as we're going into space with the ball. So there's a fitness part of it, there's a physical side of it, but there's also a technical side of it, okay? So let's try to keep the ball close to us. When the touches need to be closer for turns, and when we have some space, let's take a little bit bigger touches. It should look like this. You start here, okay? You can, so you're not standing, you can start with just simply boxes, inside, inside, or foundation touches. Okay, whenever you're ready, just take a touch through, quick. As you approach the cone, slow down. Bigger touches, then we approach the cone, slow down. Bigger touches. And we freeze here. That's one. We're doing this for one minute. Remember, it should be about four of them again. Here, inside, inside, we can do roll, roll, just so we're in place, recovering, and go. We take off. Big touches. Little touches. Bigger touches. Two little touches. Two bigger touches to end up here. We need four of these. Okay? One minute straight with 30 seconds of rest. Here's another activity. The three cones I had here for my footwork, I've opened them up. Uh, do you remember there was a yellow cone, three yellow cones and a white one 10 yards apart? What I've done is I've dropped the other two cones. I left the middle yellow one here, brought another cone, one of the side cones, three yards forward, another one about three yards, and then the white cone. So it's about 10 yards. We're going to start with just the right foot. We're going to work one time, catch our breath for about 30 seconds we'll work with our left foot, okay? So you'll start on the left side of the cone. We're dribbling around the first cone, taking small little touches with the outside part of our right foot, coming around, right foot only right now. So it should look like this. Let's try to do this at full speed. Quick little touches around here. As I get here, quick little touches around here under control, bigger, little touches under control. Always coming back to this last cone. And then bigger touches to get out. Small control here. And we end here. Rest for about 30 seconds. We'll switch over to our left foot, okay? So now we're working on our left foot. We're gonna start on the right side of the cone, working with our left foot. We're catching our breath. 
for about 30 seconds. And then we'll work on that left foot here. Small little touches around. Bigger touches, little ones. Bigger. Little ones. Bigger. Little one. All the way to the last one. And then bigger ones to end. Should look like that. Try to do this with your right foot, left foot, back to your right, back to your left. You can also alternate by using the inside part of your foot to turn. Just switch over to this side, dribble with your right foot, and we're now working with the inside part of our foot to turn. Same thing here, inside. So you can be creative with this exercise. Have fun.